welcome back for another video. If you're new here, hello, I am Mami Kara. So if you're interested sa mga baby, mommy, and family vlogs, be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell for you to get notified sa mga future uploads namin. For today's video, I'm going to share with you reasons why we should read to our babies or toddlers. Based on the experts, mga mommies, there are five reasons bakit natin kailangan pasahan ng books ang mga babies natin. Unang reason is that bonding time. Reading to our babies, to our newborns, to our toddlers builds a bonding between us. It builds a bond between you and your child. Number two, reading teaches baby about communication. Talking or reading to your baby gives the baby or gives our baby an idea yung mga information kung ano yung mga nakapalibot sa kanya. And the more na marami silang naririnig, the more words na maririnig ang mga bibis kasi natin mga mommies, the higher chance na makapagsalita sila. The higher chance din na mas ma-express nila yung feelings nila. Kasi yun nga, exposed sila sa maraming words, ideas, di ba? Kasi ang mga words, di ba, it gives us or our bibis ideas kung ano man nangyayari, ano bang ganito, ganyan. So, kung palagi mong kinakausap, palagi mong binabasahan ng mga stories, kwento, yung mga baby mo, the more nalalawak yung imagination niya and the higher chance talaga na mas, ano mo yun, naiintindihan niya and mas makapagsalita siya or ma-express din niya yung kanyang feeling. Okay, so based on my experience, mga mommy, um, reading or talking to my baby is talagang malaking tulong yun. I mean, ito na napansin ko lang pa based on my experience na palagi yung nakausap yung anak ko. Palagi siyang binabasahan din ng books. I mean, may reading time kami. And, yan. Lagi lang may kinakausap. Even, even she's a month old, ilang buwan pa lang siya, kinakausap na namin siya lagi. And, we really see na, na nagre-respond siya. Nakipag-communicate siya. Kahit hindi pa siya nagsasalita. And, I believe as a mommy, eh, talaga namang importante yun na basahan natin sila or kausapin natin sila, kwentuhan natin sila sa kanilang learning, I mean, sa kanilang development. Number three reason is it builds listening skills and vocabulary. Based na nabasa ko mga mamis, malaking, I mean, meron dong link or meron dong impact yung dami ng words na na-expose ang babies natin or dami ng words na naririnig ng babies natin sa kanyang language skills. So meaning, the more na maraming naririnig na words ang babies natin, the higher the chance na yun nga, ma-express niya yung sarili niya, makapagsalita siya, and lalawak yung vocabulary niya. Ayan. And based on my experience, I have a 19-month-old baby. Napansin ko sa kanya, kay Aliana yun, that everyday, syempre, yun nga ginagawa namin, nakausapin naman siya lagi. I mean, we're not baby-talking her. Parang nakausap namin like an adult or a normal voice. Eh, yes talagang nakatulong yun sa kanyang ano ngayon, vocabulary. And a lot of you nagtatanong kung paano ko natututuruan yung anak ko. Actually, hindi ko siya tinuturuan eh. Talagang kinakausap lang namin siya. Ine-explain ko, ine-explain namin kung ang may ginagawa namin. For example, oh, mommy's sitting here. I'm relaxing. Ganun lang. I mean, wala talaga ako tinuturo. Wala talaga kami tinuturo sa kanya. Siguro yung pinaka-key is, we explain everything to her. We explain even, alam mo yung umiinom lang ng tubig, explain ko pa yun sa kanya. Like, look, mommy's drinking water. Ganon. Basta, alam nyo na yun kung paano. Kahit na ano lang, oh, oh, monkey is jumping. Oh, ganon lang, mga mommies. And I believe talagang the more words or the more phrases silang marinig, the higher the chance talaga na mabilis silang matuto, magsalita. And take it from me. And wait, if, if, if you're a mom and yung, your baby is same age as mine, and hindi pa masyadong nakakapagsalita yung baby mo. Pero you know that she can understand you, and I mean, hindi nag-worry yung pedya mo. Then, okay lang yun, kasi may certain age naman na dapat tayong mag-worry, so you better ask your pedya or baby's pedya about it. And napansin ko pa kay Aliana kasi, I mean, hindi naman siguro kay Aliana, sa lahat naman ng babies, they imitate us. I mean, they love to imitate us. So, kung Marami na yung words na sinasabi. The higher the chance na i-imitate nila kung ano yung sinasabi natin. So, kung ini-imitate nila yung sinasabi natin, the higher the chance na lumawak yung vocabularies nila. ba diba? And imaginations, ganun. And it's very crucial or important sa kanilang talagang, sa kanilang learning. Number four reason is it boosts brain power. I mean, self-explanatory. Kung lagi natin binabasahan yung babies natin, Nang, for example, we're... Diba, may mga books kasi ng mga babies natin, di ba? May mga shapes, colors, 
numbers. So, kung lang natin pinapasahan yun, mas mabubus or mas makakasa yung palang thinking and listening skills. I mean, reading to your baby, it invites them to identify, to point things, to point pictures. And I believe talaga malaking bagay yun sa kanilang developmental and thinking na skills. And, and mga mommies, reading to our babies kasi, it helps them build their memories and it stimulates their imagination. Sabi ng mga experts, somewhere nabasa ko na yung mga babies doon na binabasahan since newborn sila, eh talaga namang mas malawak yung vocabulary kaysa sa mga hindi. Kaya naman, wala yun sa age ng mga babies natin kung kailan natin sila i-start basahan. As early as pinanganak sila, I believe na um, important yun for their brain development and uh, skills development. And isa pa, kung tatanungin nyo ako ngayon as my babies now 8, 19 months, talaga namang ano to, um, facts talaga lahat to. Kasi hindi man hard kung binapasahan siya ngayon, pero I see to it that we read to her every day. Napansin namin na yun, medyo malawak yung vocabulary talaga ni Aliana. She can say, uh, words now, clear words, and I mean phrases na ngayon at her age. And I believe malaki talagang tulong yung talking to her every day and reading to her every day. Number five reason on why we should read to our baby is it teaches our baby a habit. A habit to enjoy. Reading is a habit to enjoy. Hindi na parang force natin sila. Kasi kung, kung lagi na, parang routine na, eh, enjoy na nila yun. Parang may enjoy na nilang gawin. Hindi yung parang pipilitan na lang sila. So, yung five results sa mga experts, mga mommies, is I agree to that all. Yun nga, based on my personal experience kasi, um, kung kinafollow nyo kami sa aming mga social media accounts, nakikita nyo naman na she's very talkative talaga. And she loves books. As a parent, we are not forcing her to, to to read a book. I don't want to force my baby if hindi siya talaga interested sa book. Ayun, nagkataon lang talaga na mahilig siyang magbasa, mahilig siyang mag-identify, ganun. Pero mga mommies, if your baby is not interested pa, I mean, syempre ikaw as a mom or as a parent, you are trying to, yun nga, incalculate or to give or to make a habit or a routine pala to to read to your baby, to read with your baby, ba? Pero kung hindi pa siya talaga interested, hindi niya gusto, like, kasi i-assess mo yun as a mommy or as a, as a parent, eh. So, yung, kung hindi pa niya gusto, then bukas ulit, huwag mo na ipilit ngayon. Kasi one day, bigyan na lang niya magugustuhan yung isang bagay, eh. May mga ganong moment kasi yung mga babies natin. Huwag natin sila i-pressure. Yun, like ko na mag-share sa inyo mga mommies that we should observe our baby's interests bilang nani naman or bilang parent, hindi natin may iwasan mag-compare ng mga babies natin. I mean, meron healthy comparison kasi, pero meron, meron din hindi magandang nagagawa ang pagko-compare ng mga babies. But as a parent, ang matitip ko sa inyo is that focus on your baby's interests. Kasi ang mga babies natin is may kanya-kanyang pace. They have their own time. For example, na lang syempre dito being interested sa books. If, if your baby is not yet interested, then huwag natin sila ipilit. Kasi ang babies natin, ang trabaho nila is to play. <laughs> not to force them to read, to, diba, to learn these literacy skills, but for them to play on their own. So, as a mommy or as a parent, my tip is that observe your baby's interest. Hindi big sabihin na ang baby ko, ako, kasi syempre nanonood kayo sa akin, uh, na mahilig magbasa ng libro, eh dapat yung baby nyo din ganun. Kasi, kasi may mga babies na mas gusto maglaro, magkalikot, mag-observe, or mag-explore on their own. So, let our baby explore their interest on, interests on their own. And saka tayo as a parent, mag-focus doon. I mean, pag na-observe natin gusto nila, saka tayo mag-focus doon to enhance yung interest nila. So yeah, that is all mga mommies. I hope next time, let's give our babies a time. So that is all mga mommies. Thank you so much for watching. I hope may natutunan kayo sa video na ito. Abangan niyo yung next topic ko. How to choose a right book for your baby. And Yana's favorite books. Two videos na yun. Abangan niyo sa susunod. And yeah, kung bago ka man yung channel namin, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for you to get notified and follow us on our social media accounts. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you next time!